Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's an exciting week this week because it is Cheltenham week. Actually, let me fill you in on last week. So um, some of you guys might have noticed there's been a little gap between uploads. Maybe you haven't noticed, but if you have, oh my gosh, I was a very ill bunny last week. To cut a long story short, I contracted food poisoning, which then escalated into gastro and I had about a week, probably just under a week, of just really, really not being myself. First sort of two to three days were awful. I don't need to explain the symptoms of food poisoning. We all know how awful it is, uh, which was great. And then, yeah, the following days, just feeling really like not able to eat and annoyingly not able to film and get on top of things. And it has just caused so many delays. And yeah, so anyway, I could not pull it together to film a video together like I was really not well but anyway that has kind of then had a knock-on effect into this week because this week I'm now manically playing catch-up trying to film here there and everywhere and yeah it's I, I almost feel on top of things there's a YouTube video I would have liked to have filmed like a fashion video that I haven't had a chance to film but other than that in terms of like my work sponsored stuff I feel like I'm just about on top of things. The only thing I unfortunately did have to miss was yesterday, the ladies day at Cheltenham. Well, not ladies day, they call it the style day, don't they? Yeah. I was invited along to go with the jockey club and I was really looking forward to it. But yeah, I have just been really chasing my tail. But unfortunately I've had to kind of put a few other commitments first. So unfortunately I didn't get to go yesterday, but I have been seeing all the stories and the updates and it looked like a really lovely day. However, I am going to Cheltenham tomorrow with Holland Cooper for the Cheltenham Gold Cup. I know it's easy to say this now because I didn't go yesterday, but Gold Cup day is my favourite day. So I'm really excited about that. So the plan of action is, first of all, I'm actually going to a long overdue hair appointment. Yeah, I thought I'd bring you along with me because I do get a lot of questions about what I have done and... Today is like a full, have everything done kind of day. Colour, cut, extensions, we're doing everything. So thought I'd bring you along for that. I really love the kind of um, colour technique that I've done to my hair. It's super low maintenance. I haven't had any colour put on my hair since, it's been about nine months since I've had any colour. And hopefully you can see. It doesn't look awful. You can kind of see how, as it grows out, it kind of grows out and looks fairly like natural looking. There's no kind of like harsh lines. So I'll show you a little bit about, you know, what we do in terms of the color. The root color, this brown, I do get asked if I have like a root color put on. This is my natural hair color. And I think that would be my biggest advice if you're looking for like low maintenance hair color, styling and what we're trying to say if you're looking for a kind of hair color that is low maintenance if you the more you can incorporate your natural color at the root the less you're going to see when you need a hair appointment if that makes sense so yeah i've always had my natural color and used it as um, like a natural root drag um so as you can see the brown kind of comes down blends in um I do wear extensions, not for length, I wear them for thickness. I don't have that many put in. It's mainly for around the sides where I've just got a few like thinner bits of hair, um, just to help me with styling it. Um, so yeah, my current extensions will be coming out. You'll then see just how much I need a hair color as well. Cause I feel like most of kind of the brightness in my hair right now is actually coming through the extensions. When these are out, I think I'm gonna look full brunette. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna look like, but I'll show you guys like my nor normal hair, my completely natural hair extension free. Um, so you'll get to see it from start to finish and yeah, how we do it. Really looking forward to that. I just, I want to feel fresh. I think I'm gonna go not even brighter, but I am gonna have a little bit more blonde sort of around the front just to lighten it up a little bit. You know, going into spring, summer, I know it's so cliche, but I just want it a bit lighter and brighter. A touch, a touch smidgen brighter. And then after my hair appointment, I'm actually doing some filming there as well for Beauty Works, which is the brand of hair extensions that I wear. So um, that's gonna be a slightly longer appointment than usual. And then I am coming home, grabbing my stuff. I've packed for Cheltenham tomorrow. 
And then me and Andy are jumping in the car. We're driving down to our hotel. Just a chilled evening tonight. Hoping to just get to the hotel, have some dinner, straight to bed, early night, pamper, ready to feel lovely tomorrow. And then obviously tomorrow is gold cup day. So first, I am going to grab all of my, oh, my bits and pieces, and then we're going to be off. I'm wearing, just to show you, my COS, um, basically, when did I wear this? I wore this outfit down in London. My COS um, denim shirt, which I love. I uh, just popped a little belt on, and then my dark blue Reese jeans. Can we see that? So oh, I just love wearing these actually, um, obviously they're from two different places. So they weren't meant to be wore like together, but they are just the exact same color and kind of style. I love wearing them together as like a double denim, almost like a jumpsuit moment kind of vibe. But anyway, enough about what I'm wearing. Let's go to the hair salon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lighten their front pieces up. Root, I like my natural colour yeah. root to stay. Just because, like, as you can see now, you, the regrowth it grows really well. Yeah, it grows well. So I would like to keep that. So what I'll do, when I do face growth, I will put a slight root on it. Yeah. Bring you back, blow your eyes so you can see it. If you do want it more from that, you can take it in two seconds. It's harder for me to grow it much out, put it back in that part. Yeah. Yeah. Because obviously we're really concentrating on the health of your hair as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's honestly, it's like a different head of hair. It's feeling so healthy. You feel the root it's nice and thick. Yeah. Um, and obviously, yes, you are darker in here, but we're sandwiching the extensions over it. Yeah. And I think it's actually quite nice to have some of the dark coming through rather than me actually put a low light through it. Yeah. It's working with the dark over there. Yeah. And then probably put like a few low lights and then some chunkier highlights through it so you've got more dimension. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like you want to feel like you've got full colour foil. Yeah. No, no. See a lot of dimension, natural. Yeah. 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 Think, have I been sat in the sun for 12 months or has she just had a cup of it? Okay, I'll make you a lovely coffee and then we'll turn up and I'll make it up. Cute. Well, that was a very swift turnaround. I am absolutely loving my hair. So basically, I have just finished my hair appointment at about nine o'clock, a very late one. And then I've had to drive straight down to the hotel that me and Andy are staying in. Andy had already driven down and was gonna meet me there. Oh dear, I think a lot of my makeup's been rubbed off as well. So yeah, I'm now at the hotel. It's obviously dark outside, so I couldn't really show you much of the hotel. Hopefully show you a little bit maybe tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we've arrived and because obviously I've arrived so late, I missed any food, any dinner. So we have been very naughty and ordered pizza because we are both absolutely starving and have had no dinner. So it's gonna be a um, TV dinner sat on the bed eating a yummy pizza um, and then to try and get as much sleep as possible before a very early morning tomorrow for Cheltenham. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my delish pizza. I know that love is out there for me. Hello too. Can I just say, talk about two sides of the coin in this vlog. So tomorrow we are going to be dressed to the nines you know, in lovely hospitality at Cheltenham Races. 
But tonight we are watching Married at First Sight Australia, eating our pizzas. Oh my God, guys, I need to tell you, um, oh, I've got food in my teeth. Food in my teeth, teeth in my food? Food in my teeth, no. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you <laughs> the story that Andy just told me. So, for context, for tomorrow, obviously for Cheltenham, I have brought with me a couple of options for hat slash fascinator situ. We've got a couple of um, a couple of contenders. I just wasn't really. They've all got like nice little feathers on them. Just not sure which one I'm going to go for until like tomorrow when I'm ready. But <laughs> Andy obviously has drove down here separately in um, a different car. And so he had all of the stuff with him in his car. So obviously he's arrived before me and brought all of the things to our room. Do you want to tell them what happened? I was carrying all of the stuff, got into the room with all the bags. And then there was only two more bags I had to go back to get. Went back, turned the corner and I thought, oh, those two hats Alex has. And they were sitting in the middle of the road. <laughs> Someone's got the same hats as Alex. And someone's dropped these hats on the floor. No, Who could that be? Jumped and grabbed them. <laughs> so my hats have been rolling around the floor <laughs> of the car park. So if anyone sees me tomorrow with a um, tire mark on your head, a tire mark with bits of gravel in my feathers. <laughs> Imagine if you'd not noticed, then tomorrow oh, I'd gone to get ready and I'd have not even had a rat. <laughs> he would have fled to the next postcode oh my god that is so funny they even it... on the pavement but just in the middle of the road full on the middle of the road can you imagine oh anyway i think it's time to get ready for bed i feel like i've had my makeup on for so many hours today i feel horrible i want to take my makeup off do my skincare and Hopefully then I will be checking in with you tomorrow when I'm getting ready for Cheltenham. Good morning, guys. Um, I did not have a very good sleep last night. Me and Andy didn't have a good sleep. Um, so I've popped on these um, eye patches. Can you even see them on the camera? They look very um, discreet. Let me show you what they were. I've popped on these Garnier Skin Active um, Hyaluronic Anti-Fatigue Jelly Eye Patches because as I said, I did not have a good sleep last night, so I'm kind of relying on these to perform some sort of miracle. We don't know. Um, but yeah, me and Andy woke up in the night and just so hot. You know, that feeling like, oh God, open a window. And it was just, once I'd woken up at that time, because it wasn't bang smack in the middle of the night, it was kind of early hours of the morning. My body was like, nope, we get up now. And it was just, it took me so long to get back to sleep. So yeah, I'm really hoping these things do perform. <laughs> A little bit of a miracle so if you see me with my lovely delightful eye bags today then um, that's why <laughs> but anyway I thought oh, I thought while these babies do their work I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing today for Cheltenham because it's gonna be a very sort of quick tight turnaround this morning um, we're being picked up at 8 30 from our hotel the time currently is seven o'clock so in an hour and a half I'm going to be getting picked up, hopefully looking a little bit more glamorous than this. So let me show you what I will be wearing for Cheltenham Gold Cup Day. And also, without sounding too vain, I'm loving my hair this morning. Now I'm seeing it in like daylight. I love it. I absolutely love it. But anyway, before I start cracking on with makeup and actually getting ready, let me show you what I'll be wearing. So starting off with the base layer. So last time you might remember I wore my um, dark green Highbury cape coat, which was just so lovely. So this time I wanted to go a little bit lighter, brighter, with, on the edge of spring, um, even though the weather would suggest otherwise, but I wanted to dress like we were stepping into spring. So I've gone for the camel nude cream kind of vibe this time. So as my base layer, I'll be wearing this sleeveless, knit from Holland Cooper. The nice little details there on the shoulders. I'm really gutted. I have not had time at all this week to um, 
get my nails done. So um, we're going to ignore the manicure because I feel like from a distance, I'm holding a champagne glass, you're not going to be able to tell. So we're going to forget about the nails. But yes, sleeveless roll neck, um, kind of like a really gorgeous cream pale camel knit, which I think will keep me warm, but still, it's still light enough that I can breathe. So that is the top and then for trousers this time. So last time I wore my um, black jodhpur jeans because to be honest, it was all about the coat. I let the coat do the talking. This time I'll be wearing trousers and these are what I have gone for. These absolutely beautiful camel and cream houndstooth trousers. Oh my God. And the length of these, for my tall girls out there, I think I'm a fairly similar height to Jade Holland Cooper. And she just absolutely nailed the length of these trousers. I'm five foot eight, but I'd say I'm more on the long, leggier side. I've got quite a short torso. So for me, finding trousers that actually fit the way I want them to, flattering, where they're just off the floor, but they're not swinging around my ankles. These trousers are actually perfect. And I am of the slightly biased opinion that I think trousers should come slightly longer because you can always take them up and remove material, but you can't add it on. So as a person of my height, which isn't overly tall, five foot eight, but to struggle to find trousers long enough, it's, it's a bit of a pain. So I'm so glad she went for this length because honestly they're just gorgeous the fit of them as well around the waist and then the flare they sort of go a little bit wider but they don't cling to your thigh but they just brush down oh my gosh honestly just absolutely gorgeous in terms of the fit so that is what i'll be wearing on the bottom on the top then this is one of my favorite bags to open on camera we have a new Holland Cooper bag. Show you a little, little glimpse of the inside. I've gone for the suit vibe this time. And I will be wearing the matching Highbury cape coat in the camel houndstooth over the trousers. So oh, I just can't wait. I love how this looks together. My original kind of plan, um, I'm hoping it's warm enough to do this is rather than wear this with my arms through just to kind of have it sat on my shoulders um, so that you can see that my arms are bare with the um, like sleeveless knit because I just feel like it looks oh, it looks so good if I can say so myself it's just it's a really good outfit I'm really really like excited to put it on today but yes the beautiful Highbury cape coat the one that I have in green I've gone for in this Colour. I'm really going for the bright spring vibes, aren't I? It's got the gorgeous classic Holland Cooper detail gold buttons, the Holland Cooper um, branding on the back. It's just, it's just bright enough to get away with for wearing for the races, but still feeling like you're wearing the right thing. So yes, that's what I will be wearing. And then on the top of my head, because I feel like... I feel like the outfit never looks complete unless you're wearing a hat or a fascinator. I could go without. I might see what it looks like without because I've just had my hair done, guys. <laughs> I want to show off the hair as well. But um, but no, I have got two options. So let me show you. Actually, I've not even finished the outfit. Let me show you the accessories that I'm wearing. For shoes, obviously I'm wearing trousers, so you're not really going to see much of the shoe. However, I wanted to go for a nice pop of tan because I do have a really lovely tan belt here as well. So I have got here the Holland Cooper tan ankle boots. You're not really going to see the tops of them, but this is the detail on them. Again, the lovely branding. I love, I love the green bottoms. I don't know what it is. I just love the pop of green on the bottom. Um, but yeah, as I said, you're not going to see them. You're literally going to see these poking out the bottom but I thought I'd show you them anyway. One recommendation for, from me would be for Cheltenham if it's not rainy or muddy um, you can definitely get away with a chunky heel. Avoid stiletto heels, do not do it to yourself, you'll ruin your shoes, you'll ruin your feet, it's not worth it. 
Um, you can definitely get away with a chunky heel. I feel more comfortable wearing a chunky heel because obviously I'm going with Holland Cooper and we've got a lovely setup there. Um, so I know that I'm not going to be sort of trudging around and risk ruining my shoes. So yes, and also with the suit, I just feel more put together wearing a heel. It's, you know, I feel like, I don't want to say girl boss because that is so cringe. Honestly, I can't even bear the words coming out of my mouth. But you know, you're wearing a suit as a woman, you want to feel that little bit of a power heel going on the bottom. So those are my shoes and then the bag. This is a new um, release from Holland Cooper and I just, I really love the design of this bag. I've been so excited to show you this. Um, it's a little bit more understated and I feel like this is, out of all their bags, this is the most me. Um, so I was really excited to have the opportunity to wear and use this in my Cheltenham Gold Cup outfit. And it is this gorgeous tan number. It does have Holland Cooper branding just on the clasp there, but can you see how subtle that is? I think it's just gorgeous. I think it'll go really well with the outfit. Um, it's got a lovely pocket here at the back. Um, just a little clasp there to open it. Really nice and roomy on the inside. It does also have a crossbody strap. I have already taken that out though and left it in my bag because I want to carry it around with the top handle, I think, today. Um, so I've just made room because I've got a lot of bits and bobs going in here. I've got my camera, my phone, bits of makeup. I'll obviously have my tickets in here. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate how much room is going on in there. There's also on the inside, just these bits of attention to detail that I love. On the very inside, if you can see, you've got this zip compartment. But also, if you can see, you've actually got a card holder on the inside of your bag so if you didn't want to bring a purse with you or a card holder you've actually got a couple of compartments there just to pop your bank card in your driving license and you're good to go so I, I really appreciate those little bits of added detail that you don't get in all bags I won't have to carry around an extra thing inside my bag because the compartments are already here so yeah I'm loving loving this bag um, I've also got a tan belt to pop on around the trousers. Just again, to tie in the tan detail, I feel that the outfit is very light and bright. It needs that bit of depth to it, in my opinion. I don't want to, it to look like an all cream look. I want those really gorgeous pops of tan, just to make it look a little bit more, more Cheltenham. I really like the kind of earthy tones at Cheltenham, the greens, the browns, the tans. So this kind of really gives it a, Cheltenham vibe in my opinion. This belt is just beautiful. So I'll be wearing this with the trousers. And then um, this I've had for a while now. I've had this for about 12 months, I think. I do also have this tan um, Holland Cooper silk scarf. Now I don't know if I'm going to wear this or how I'm going to wear this. I was thinking I could either perhaps tie it around my bag but then I don't know if it's going to clash because I am wearing a pattern. I don't want too much going on. Sometimes less is more. You don't want to like you've tried too hard and just, you know, you've had Holland Cooper just vomit all over you. Probably not the kind of vibe they're going for. Clashing patterns is going to take away from each pattern. So I feel like this may look better with maybe more of a plain check or just a plain look. With the hound's tooth, it's busy enough. I don't think I'll need this. However, I might um, completely be a hypocrite and uh, end up wearing it. So I don't know, I don't wanna to speak too soon, but I bought it anyway, because as you can see, the colors work perfectly. I could kind of do it as a little twilly around here, so it's a bit more tied down, but I don't know. We shall see on that one. And then in terms of hats fascinators, I actually have two. These are from um, a small business on Etsy. The girl is really local to me. She makes sort of bespoke, she does hats, fascinators, headbands, just anything. And it, it, they're all just a little bit different, which I really like. Um, so I got two simply because one, they were really affordable. And two, I didn't quite know which was going to look better. I feel like now they've arrived and looking at them next to the outfits, I feel like I know which one I'm gonna wear, but let me know which one you would wear. So I have this one first, this fascinator. Obviously we've got the camel color to go with the 
kind of camel vibes. I feel like Cheltenham isn't complete with a little bit of a feather or a touch of tweed or something else. So I went for this one. I love the kind of little pearl detail, but then you've got the feathers here. So I could go for this one. I felt like a hat would have looked too much on top of everything else going on. So I wanted something a little bit more light on top, a, a little cherry on the top, not a great big basket of fruit, you know? <laughs> We've got a little cherry on the top. Um, so I got this one. Then I also picked up this headband. So gorgeous tan color, obviously to go with the kind of tan accessories. Um, and then it has, which way does it go? I think it might go this way. Um, and then obviously we have the really fun twirly whirly feathers coming off. I know it's a little bit different, but I thought actually that's again, a little cherry on the top and it's tan. I don't know if I'm edging more towards the headband. I thought I would want to go for this. I don't know if the color is exactly bang on in terms of the coat. Um, I feel like, yeah, it's a little, this camel's a little bit darker than the one used in the jacket. So I feel like this might not go as well. So I think it's gonna be this, um, which I think is really fun because I'm not usually a headband girl, but hey, these things are for stepping out your comfort zone. So yeah, this is the full outfit. I'm gonna now go and do my makeup. I'm not gonna do my makeup on camera because I feel like you've seen me do my makeup many a time. It's gonna be exactly the same as it was for last time I was at Cheltenham, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna get my makeup done. We all, we've ordered a couple of pastries just to the room. As I said, it's seven o'clock in the morning, getting picked up in an hour and a half. Um, and I just want to make sure I have eaten something. I think we're going to have a bit of kind of nibbly breakfast bits, but sometimes with these things, you know how it is when there's a big room full of people, some people you've not met before, you know, it's the start of the day, you're breaking the ice. I don't always feel comfortable eating loads. You know, you're trying to talk and, you know, do the introductions sort of thing. So I just want to make sure I've had something to eat um, just in case. I will reconvene with you when my makeup is done and my outfit is on. We are in the car on our way down to um, 131 for um, the hotel for, I think we're having like a breakfast and we're going through the race card for the day. So we're meeting everyone there. Um, I still haven't been able to show you the full outfit on, but I really, really love it. Andy's looking very smart as well, aren't you? <laughs> I went for the headband in the end, the um, other fascinator just didn't quite look right but because it's quite a thick headband you can kind of see sometimes like my little ears sticking out and Andy just said I look like Mr Tumnus <laughs> with my little ears sticking out so great just the vibe I was going for Mr Tumnus is <laughs> so horrible <laughs> Even Monty up front has just said that's evil. <laughs> so we have just arrived at the gorgeous number 131 hotel for a lovely entrance in here. So we're going to go in and have some breakfast. I have just arrived at 131. Um, we're in the kind of main room here. Everyone's having some breakfast, some teas, coffee. So I'm going to show you a little look around. Well, I have arrived. Oh, that was a really big step. I've arrived to the gorgeous Holland Cooper box. I'm actually um, quite early. I think a lot of the girls have been stuck in traffic, and even though I wasn't the first to leave the hotel, I'm one of the first to arrive here. So. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit on my lonesome, so I have taken some photos and videos of my outfit on, and um, yeah, I love it. And I think they're going to dominate this particular race. Horse number ten, reading Tommy Rom, I think is the likeliest winner, unbeaten in his career, um, and I think this is another victory for the CV. <laughs>
outside to Leo. You've not been on the vlog. We've been stood chatting as always. Literally chatting away. Stood chatting away for hours. Having a little drinky too. Having a little champagne. Oh, you've got a gin and tonic. I have a gin and tonic. With Look at this. With one of her five a day. What? In I've salad got two leaves. of my five, yeah. five a day. Salad leaves. I'm sipping dry. away. Beautiful. But no, we have just. Have we actually put a bet on this next race. So don't We've got a bet on the next race. The next well, Mark race. and Andy do, but we're, we're leaving it in their hands because they are the top top gamblers. We just collect the winnings, don't we, darling? We, we, look, we, look we look after the one. Have you so intro your outfit? Because I, honestly, I have you seen this? I'm going to actually take over the camera here. I need to show my outfit. Oh my goodness. And the, so Cheltenham, you have absolutely nailed it. With the headpiece, with the pheasant feathers. And then we've got Mrs. Royal. Oh yeah, Mrs. Royal, honestly. My Royal Highness. It really is I'm really royalty vibes. Oh, thank you. I was channeling my inner this. Zara Tindall. Can we just take a moment for this? I feel like I'm also holding the camera. I'm like taking it. Okay, we're off, guys. We're off. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is so lovely to see you guys. And it's so lovely to steal you and have a good girly catch up. It's just divine. I know. I know. But we're going to go outside and we need to get some photos together. We did. Not we did. Photos. We did. Yeah. We did. I even come to Cheltenham if you didn't get a picture. Exactly. I've got some on my own, but I look like Billy Noe, mate. So I've actually got no pictures with anyone. That's why I put the camera up now, because I was like, it looks like I've not spoke to anyone. But no, it's not always what you see on the vlog. That's very, very true. It's, That's very, very true. Not on the vlog. It doesn't mean it didn't happen. So true. <laughs> so there's, there's a lot There's a lot to be said there underneath that sentence. No. Read between the lines. No! <laughs> I have to laugh at how much of a mood Josie is. So Andy just turned around and said, would well, anyone like a drink? And Josie said, I want cheese. And here it is. Good selection. I'm a happy lady. Oh my. Do you know, let me tell something to your audience. This is cheese sacrilege. This is the ultimate in like bad cheese etiquette. Yeah, it really is. The best bit of the cheese is the middle. Yeah. So you're meant to take the length of the yeah, cheese. Yeah, and they've just gone in the tip of the cheese. Like a monster. And chopped the end off. So do you know what I'm going to do? Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm doing it. I'm joining the naughty club. We've run in on the cheese and they're still putting the food down. Joe's is going straight. You can't beat them.
like one more of that one. I love that. We've got to be quick on the on the shutter. Ali and Ali have more time. Absolutely. Get on the back. Right there we go. Thank you. I am an influencer. Oh my gosh. Ali and Andy, I have to laugh. I was having the most serious conversation with Gemma about horses. Lydia came up to me and said, have you seen what your husband's doing? I was like, no. I turned around, he looks like Mr. Toad from Wind in the Willows. This hat on and this bike with Ali. Brilliant. <laughs> Girls, what do you think if we recreate the boys on the bike? Like, yeah. I like, we get a bridal involved. So far, we are losers with our lucky dip. But it's always important to be graceful. A graceful loser. Yeah, okay, this one. This one says <gasps> 70 pounds. That's actually nearly won the money Seven for zero. all the money. 70 pounds. Yeah, okay, this one, this one, this one. We're 30 down at the moment then. Right. 40, 84 pounds. <laughs> We're 20. Oh, should we up? <laughs> we're up. We're up. We're up. We're, we're up. up. We're, we're up. We're up. So far. This one. Oh, losing ten. But it's fine. We've, we've still got a few left. This we're waiting for a few thousand. Is this a three thousand? Oh, twenty. Twenty pound sixteen. This is actually Every little money. helps. Every little helps. Oh, we've actually done okay. Okay. Well, we haven't lost money. Good morning, guys. I apologise if this is a bit of a jump scare. <laughs> Going from full glam at the races to very much reality of the next day. Makeup free. Back in my um, <laughs> back in my riding jacket, and um, I've just got to the yard um, to uh, see Flick. I oh my god, yesterday was so fun, like so fun. I was so grateful to be invited. Like the hospitality, the people. It was just such a fun day, like a really really fun day. I did tell you in this vlog you were going to get both sides of the coin. We've gone from <laughs> full glam snap back to reality of today but yeah i'm feeling a little bit tired today i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna try and have a little bit more of a chill a chilled one today i think but um anyway as i said i am going to see miss flicky and also i thought i'd actually give you an update because um last week we actually went out and did our first event of the season so yeah, first event of the season, and to be completely honest, in the week, the five days leading up to it, she had a spicy week. Like, she was full of herself, full of beans. She's just, she's at the point where she's very, very fit. Like, she's too fit. She's competition fit. So you always have this awkward period, I'd say, of about two or three weeks before your first competition, where you've got a horse that literally wants to go out and run and has energy to burn and it's like you can't you can't tire them out that's <laughs> it's like giving a, a child loads of haribo and then saying sit down and read a book it's like <laughs> there's a disconnect there so the five days leading up let's just say she was particularly spicy she was very fresh and i honestly had a moment on the friday before we went out competing where i said to my friend i was like I'm not looking forward to riding this tomorrow. <laughs> I just thought if she acts like this tomorrow, I am worried. <laughs> like, she's going to have me off. Like, she was just a bit wild and just really wired. But, like, honestly, hats off to her. Just like the pro that she is, she knew instantly what was going on. I, I do think it was a bit of excitement leading up to the first event she's not silly she's a very intelligent horse she knows when something is coming up she knows when we start running through whole dressage tests one thing i don't do is i rarely run through an entire dressage test because as i said she's very intelligent and the last thing i want her to do is anticipate and almost learn the test for herself so i rare i barely ever run through a whole test i'll run through um like little snippets of it oh my friends are over there <laughs> they can see me vlogging um but yeah i'll run through little snippets of it instead and then i'll piece it together on the day 
but I've been running through our entire dressage test. She knows. She knows that means we're going to a party. But anyway, on the day, oh my God, she was just epic. Absolutely epic. Like, did a really lovely dressage test. She didn't get too excited. She held it together. Really quiet, sweet, very obedient dressage test. Um, and then just, yeah, bossed round the jumping. Oh my God, just, she gave me the best feeling. She was definitely, like, happy to be out, but... She's the kind of horse where it doesn't matter what she's like at home. She's just one of these horses. She does love being out. She loves a job. She gets a bit bored when she's in a routine at home. She she just, she knows. She wants to be out. So, yeah, I think she was just really pleased to be out. Um, but, yeah, I was really, really chuffed with this. I thought I'd just give you that little update. Um, feels good to tick off the first one of the season. So I'm looking forward to many more, although the weather has taken a turn again. And we've had loads of rain again. I know a few events have been cancelled this weekend. Um, none that are like local to me that I would have entered. But yeah, I know a lot of people's first events were supposed to be this weekend and they've had to cancel. So oh, it's just a bit rubbish for us for the season. But anyway, thought I'd give you that little update. And thought I would end this vlog here. Um, because I'm actually going to start a new vlog when I get home after seeing Flickr. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. And I'll see you in the next one.